The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the cornerstone of the Christian faith. It is the most important event in history. Without the resurrection, our faith is meaningless. The resurrection proves that Jesus is who he claimed to be, the Son of God. It demonstrates his victory over sin and death. The resurrection gives us hope for the future. Because Jesus is risen, we can be sure that we too will rise again. We will live with him forever. This hope sustains us through difficult times. Jesus' resurrection is the ultimate victory. It is the foundation of our faith and the source of our joy. The resurrection of Jesus assures us of our salvation. Romans 10, 9 says, If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. N.T. Wright, a renowned theologian, says the resurrection is not just an event of the past. It is the present reality of God's power at work in the world. When we believe in Jesus' resurrection, we are not just signing up for a set of beliefs. We are embracing a living hope. This hope is rooted in God's power to save. We can be confident that because Jesus is alive, we too will have eternal life. This is the promise of the resurrection. It is a promise that we can cling to with all our hearts. Jesus himself promised eternal life to those who believe in him. In John 11, 25 to 26, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. John Piper, a respected theologian, writes, The resurrection of Jesus is God's Amen to the life of Jesus. It is God's declaration that Jesus is the beloved Son in whom his soul is well pleased. The resurrection is a powerful reminder that death is not the end. Because Jesus lives, we too will live. This promise of eternal life is a gift from God. It is a gift that we receive by faith. When we trust in Jesus, we are guaranteed a place with him in eternity. Section four, power for Christian living. The resurrection of Jesus not only gives us hope for the future, but it also empowers us to live for Christ in the present. Romans chapter 6 verse 4 says, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a German pastor and theologian, wrote from prison, Only he who is prepared to die is really free to live. Through the power of the resurrection, we can break free from the power of sin. We are given new life in Christ. This new life is characterized by love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As we allow the Holy Spirit to work in our lives, we will become more and more like Christ. We will live lives that are worthy of the gospel. Section 5, Fulfillment of Prophecy. The resurrection of Jesus was not a surprise to God. It was the fulfillment of centuries of prophecy. Psalm chapter 16, verse 10 says, For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. R.C. Sproul, a renowned Bible teacher, wrote, The resurrection is the hinge of history. It is the event upon which all of human history turns. The Old Testament is filled with prophecies about the Messiah's death and resurrection. Jesus fulfilled all of these prophecies perfectly. This demonstrates that Jesus is the promised Messiah. He is the savior of the world. The resurrection is not just a story, it is a historical fact. It is the most well-attested event in ancient history. Section six, the foundation of hope. The resurrection of Jesus is the foundation of our hope. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. C.S. Lewis, a famous Christian writer, wrote, If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. Because Jesus is alive, we have hope for the future. We know that death is not the end. We have a glorious inheritance waiting for us in heaven. This hope sustains us through difficult times. It gives us the strength to keep going when we want to give up. The resurrection of Jesus is the ultimate victory. It is a victory that we share in through faith in Christ.